Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Adam bin Bahrain, and uh, today I'll be presenting my individual assignment that I have chosen, entitled Takaful in Malaysia. So let's proceed to the next slide, which is introduction. So what is Takaful actually? So Takaful is um, <clears throat> the counterpart of the conventional insurance that we all know today. Takaful is a type of Islamic insurance wherein members contribute money into a pool system to guarantee each other uh, against loss or damage. Takaful branded insurance is based on Sharia or Islamic religious law, which explain how individuals are responsible to cooperate and protect one another. Takaful policies over health, life and general insurance need. So, Indeed, protection is a significant monetary need in our life, in light of the fact that every one of us is dependent upon various dangers and vulnerable possibilities in our life. Inability, injury, infection, and even passing, passing in death can happen to everybody anytime in their life. We perceive that protection doesn't be able to predict any further to forestall this from happening. However, insurance offer monetary um, assistance to keep us from occurring um, excess damages. So why is there is a takaful in the first place? Um, this is because um, promptly present of impermissible highlights in customary protection alongside the non-sharia agreeable nature, meaning um, the nature that is not agreeable in the conventional um, insurance had kick off um, the need as a Muslim researcher to propose takaful as a substitute for ordinary insurance, meaning conventional insurance. Okay, next we proceed towards takaful models in Malaysia. So let us start with the first model, which is non-profit model. So in the name itself, we can already understand um, the sole purpose of this model. The concept of this model is strongly constructed on the idea of collaboration and brotherhood among the members that participated in this model to help the other partaking members in an event of urgent need for support for any unpredictable incident of accident. So meaning to say um, a group of people is pulling their funds in, uh, in with the sole purpose in helping one and another um, when one is in uh, in apparel, so um, and the, the person can use the, the pulled fund to assist them in uh, lessening their burden. So next, let's talk about uh, the Mudarabah model. Basically, Mudarabah is defined as a profit sharing principles applied normally to businesses or commercial contracts between party who are the one going to provide the funds and the party who are to manage it, meaning um, the Rob Bulmal and the Mudarib. So, Mudaraba is a profit sharing contract that is signed between the operator and the participant um, who is interested in managing the um, takaful business um, of the Mudaraba model. So the contract is agreed that the profit generated from this model um, need to be shared and divided, maybe uh, equally or even 60 to 40 percent. And but the financial loss is only borne by the um, participant of this model itself. So next, let's talk about Wakalah model. Wakalah is agency, agent. It is a remunerated deal which there is a presence of fees where one party provides the means of fund and the other manages said fund. So it is uh, similar to Mudarama model but um, in Wakalah model, the agent that have been uh, recruited will have a fixed fees upon the service that he or she that have been um, given in this model. So um, the difference is, the difference is um, that the profit generated will not be shared, um, but uh, it will go into the participant full pool of funds. So if there is an event of loss or profit, um, the agent will always have a fixed amount of fees um, that have been agreed upon. Okay, last but not least, let's talk about mix and hybrid model. So mix and hybrid model is a combination of model, Mudarabah model and a Wakalah model. So on the first part of the model, which is um, 
the participant and the operator will be conducted through a wakala model but uh, the, the 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 latter which is the investment part that um, profitable to this model will be using the mudarabah model so in malaysia um, there are two types product of takaful which is the first is general takaful and the second is family takaful General Takabul products are usually created to provide a Sharia compliant risk sharing and risk management mechanism on an annual renewal basis. In a scheme, this relationship among the participants is on Ta'awuni and Tabaru, while the relationship of the operator and the participants are based on Daraba, Wakala, and Waka that I mentioned before. So, um, the example of General Takaful is Moto Takaful, Fire Takaful, Engineering Takaful, and also Marine Takaful. And secondly is family takaful. Family takaful are usually designed to offer protection against the risk of death or permanent disability. This system allows the participant to benefit from long-term savings and investment returns based on a pre-agreed ratio aligned with the Mudarabah concept. So there is two uh, under this family takaful which is individual family takaful and a group family takaful. So in this in individual, this type of product members of said fund has protection against any defined risk, including mortgage, education, and health, and a group family takaful, uh, meaning the members have protection for themselves and their family members. So now let's uh, proceed to legal capacity. Okay, now let's talk about a takaful operator. Who is a takaful operator? He or she is the one who undertakes the, the contribution paid by the participant to indemnify or provide financial assist against an unexpected peril which may happen to the subject matter of the policy. In Islamic law, alternative term to the insurer is the operator that has been practiced for, uh, by us in today's takaful operation. As for the requirements for carrying on business as an operator, we have to look on a section for subsection 1 of the Takaful Act 1994 that states, any individual or organization wishing to run takaful shall be contractually capable. Second, for a takaful operator, he or she has to be a Muslim. This is because to um, secure a public interest. And third, the person or organization who wishes to be a takaful operator must regis regist register uh, prior to commencement of a uh, takaful operation. And lastly, but not least, last but not least, uh, before securing a certificate for its activities, operator needs to make um, a deposit. So um, this slide will tell us about the takaful participant. Takaful participant is the one who um, giving in the, the funds, providing the capital of the takaful operation. So in takaful policy, policy, the participant pays a regular contribution to the takaful operators for the purpose of obtaining future security of an unexpected peril. In theory, every person regardless of age, class, religion, or gender have a natural right to buy a policy for a security on their life, business, and even their property from the risk that not be expected and danger. Um, but in practical matter of speaking, the right of mutual cooperation may not be permitted to some people of the society. Issues and challenges that are facing nowadays takaful operation. So the first is there is a, a lack of consumer awareness of the insurance, the Islamic insurance itself, meaning takaful. The expertise shortage of human capital, meaning expertise in a person who uh, or group of people that is um, well understand, uh, have a very good understanding of the takaful itself. And there is a lack of standardization in the industry of takaful. And lastly, different approaches on legislative and no centralized rules. So we have reached the end of the presentation. So my conclusion while concluding this um, assignment is takaful industry, industry in Malaysia is still quite new. And when we compare to other areas of financial industry, we know that it is experiencing a strong growth. The infiltration rate of Takaful in Malaysia is remain less and prove that there is a moment of, for future growth in the future. 
The advantages that makes Tatapun and Malaysia to propagate positively is the participant of the bank negara themselves as they offer a discrete regulatory body and a guideline as also a monitoring activities. Takaful, despite the fast-growing industries, it is still encountered by several regulatory and technical challenges in Malaysia, ranging from competitive components, business models and practices and demands for a better product. Therefore, the Takaful industry should comply with new trends in global economies to be competitors worldwide and be the only choice among customers in Muslims and uh, non-Muslim groups. Um, in the end, there is a silver lining to these problems and issues. Hence, future and in-depth studies in this area are required to overview and further discussion so that um, Islamic insurance takaful, that is takaful, can prosper better in the near future. That's all from me. Thank you.